Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about spraying and preventing the green cabbage looper, green cabbage worm, any kind of chewing insta insect from really devastating your cold weather crops. And it's May 2nd here. Every year I get the white butterfly that comes in, lays eggs on my leafy greens, and those worms will just devastate all my crops. So the whole key to prevention is managing down damage. You can't always stop damage 100%, but you can greatly reduce it. And we're going to be managing the uh, chewing worms with peppermint oil and neem oil and a sprayer. And I'll talk about the recipe in a second. But I just want to hit home the idea of prevention. What you're doing is you go, you basically use a journal. You write down when problems come into your garden and then you go back about two or three weeks before they showed up and you start prevention. So if we go down my plant, you can see some holes in there. That's not from the cabbage looper, that's something different, that's okay. I put down slug baits to deal with slugs. But as we go down, you can see just beautiful leafed plants. That's purple cabbage, different kales. There are no holes in there. That means the worm eggs either just got laid or they haven't arrived yet but that's when you want to start spraying so we're spraying two weeks three weeks before they arrive and what I like to use on the chewing insects is neem oil and that's right here I sell this at my seed shop and you can see that it's um, congealed it thickens this is a hundred percent cold pressed neem oil that's what you want if you go into the stores and you're buying bottled stuff a lot of times it says hydrophobic extract. That means they take a lot out of it and they're taking out the chemical as a directed, which is what stops the chewing insects from damaging your plants. It's that component, that chemical in there that kills off the chewing insects. So wherever you pick it up, you wanna make sure you're getting cold pressed neem oil. Now I have plenty of videos on the recipes and making it, but I'm gonna go over it here um, just real quick. It's one tablespoon or two tablespoons of neem oil in one gallon of water. If you're just getting started, start with one tablespoon, see how that goes. Even though, and I thank you for trusting me, even though you're hearing me talk about recipes, always test spray any new recipes on your plants. Spray a couple of them, wait 48 hours, look for damage. That's just good practice. So it's one or two tablespoons of neem oil in a gallon of water. You put in some soap, any kind of soap works. If it's highly concentrated, you use less. If it's more like the uh, Castile types that are safer and more organic, you're gonna to need to use up to a tablespoon. But the, the soapy water mixes the oil through the water so that when you shake it, I mean the soap mixes the oil through the water so when you shake it, the oil stays dispersed and then you get a nice fine coat on your leaf. And we're gonna do a spraying too. Now, the neem oil will work for the chewing insects. I'm also adding in peppermint oil, or rosemary oil. I'm gonna probably go with peppermint oil. I've been using these oils to mask the scents of my plants for the warm weather crops, deal with spider mites and other things. But right now I'm just talking about the cold weather crops. So I thought that I would add in peppermint oil with the neem oil and just kind of do a masking. So that's kind of an experiment. You don't have to do that right now. Neem oil works. When you're using peppermint oil, I have videos on that too. I was going by a, you know X amount of drops uh, per quart or in a gallon. I've just changed that to simplify it. It's one teaspoon of peppermint oil in a gallon of water with some soap so that it disperses when you shake it. I will link the videos for those. But the whole key is preventive spraying. Start spraying, know your diseases, know your insects, know your problems in your garden and start taking care of them before they arrive. Now the spraying schedule is going to be every 7 to 14 days. If it doesn't rain, maybe you go 14 days. If it's raining a lot, maybe every seven days. If you have an infestation, definitely every seven days. It's really up to you, but get started early. So let me make up a mix of the neem and peppermint oil together. And if you are on a metric system like the entire world but the US, I've put conversion tables in the description. All right, so I mixed up one gallon. Quick tip, put the water in first, then add your oils then add the soap. If you put the soap in first and then water, it gets too foamy and it's a little bit of a problem. This is what the neem oil looks like once it's in warm water for about 
five or ten minutes. Neem oil is good for about two years, two seasons. This is more of my um, prop, so I'm not using that one, so I went and got my fresh stuff. All right, so it's set up. Now, when you're spraying, only spray the plants that have problems. So I know that it's my kales, my cabbages, broccoli, cauliflower. I'm not going to spray my loose leaf lettuces or arugula. They just don't have the problem. Don't think, hey, I got to spray. I'll spray everything. Only spray the plants that are the problem. So it's mixed up. Once you mix it up, give it a good shake between each spraying. And I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. You're going to hit the top of the leaves with a fine spray, and then you're going to hit the undersides. And that is not a fine spray, and that's going to be hard to do with one hand. Let's see. Technical difficulty. There we go. So, all right, well, <laughs> you went a fine spray. Looks like there's something clogged up in there. So that was annoying me. I switched sprayers. A nice, fine, soaking mist. When the spray is nice and fine, it's easier to get the undersides and just coat everything. Nice, even coat. It gets the oils everywhere, and that's what you want for the chewing insects. Just get the undersides of the leaves, because when it rains, the oil will be on the underside. And of course, a worm chewing will go straight down, or it'll come up from underneath. It'll ingest the neem oil. Now, the insects have to ingest this. This isn't you spray it on the worms and they die. They have to eat it. They'll die off in about three days. So if you have an infestation, spray every seven days. If you have heavy rains, every seven days. If you have light rains, about every 10 days. If you're not having any rain, really, you can go every 14 days. And because you're spraying the top and the bottom, or the undersides, if they chew through the leaf, they're going to die off. Also, if you hit the eggs, with the neem oil. That really messes up development. That also kills them off. We would come over here. These are cabbages. And again, I'm using neem and peppermint oil. You don't need to do both. I sell neem oil, peppermint oil, rosemary oil at my seed shop. Whatever you buy, make sure you're buying peppermint oils, rosemary oils. You're not buying extracts. You want to make sure you're buying the oils. If you're buying neem oil, you want it to be 100% cold pressed and you want it to have the as a direct and component. Now I'll be doing a lot of videos if you want to subscribe for taking care of the same issues. Insects, fungal diseases with warm weather crops on tomatoes, peppers. I'll be using hydrogen peroxide, which is really hard to get right now. Um, I highly recommend H2O2. It's changed how I can garden. So see what you can get now for when the problems come to your area. Those were leafy greens. I don't spray those. For eating, I usually harvest the day that I spray, and I like to wait about five days. This is red Russian kale. Before I would harvest again with the neem oil. And I do wash my leaves, but neem is supposed to be pretty safe. It's been around for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. And I would just go down, mark in my journal. I have journals too at the seed shop with my um, logo on there. Mark down when you spray, because you will forget, and just stick to a routine. I want to stress again, the success for managing pests and disease is not spraying when you see the problem. It's preventive spraying, knowing when they show up, and just sticking to a routine. Hope this helps. Neem oil is really effective against the chewing worms. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching, and please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.